Well, hello, this is Dean Tenney. I'm coming to you from my fabulous, whoop, my studio here in fabulous Las Vegas. <laughs> uh, I had a, a series four tutoring session and uh, the guy said he wanted to go over some complex option strategies without anything further to his note. I thought, well, he probably means uh, butterfly spreads and ratio rights, uh, ratio spreads. So uh, I made up a little uh, deck and uh, used that for the tutoring session. And since that deck was available, I thought I would uh, put it on the YouTube channel and go over it a little bit with you. So uh, here we go. So uh, again, uh, the note on the tutoring booking was complex option strategy strategies. Uh, I took from that that what he'd like to do is ratio rights, ratio call spreads, and uh, butterfly spreads. So here's a little uh, ditty, if you will, on the, those strategies. Um, I'm usually a big, big proponent of uh, doing things on a per share basis. And the exception to that, the exception to that is when we are doing complex option strategies, there's a lot of things going on. Now, when you have complex option strategies going on, uh, I've already put the break even down there at the bottom. I'm going to show you how to do it, but you know, don't forget that one of the answers being offered to you is the correct answer. And assuming you're going to track the money in and out, you can just plug those numbers into your T and figure out if uh, that uh, number being offered to you as a break even is indeed the uh, right number. So here uh, we paid uh, about 200 shares at 28, so that's going to be. $5,600 we paid out for the uh, stock. And then we brought in uh, $300 for the off, uh, BFD calls. Three of them, please note, three of them. So that's going to be $300 there. So that's kind of my initial setup. So then what I'm going to do to get my break even, remember it's being offered to me, but I'm going to take the 5300 which is my net out-of-pocket cost. I'm going to divide by the 200 shares, and I get the break even here in this ratio rate, 26 and a half. So that's how we uh, go about uh, doing that. Now, we also have an upside uh, break even. And the way we do the upside break even is to say, okay, well, again, it's being offered to me, but I can also look at this and say, okay, well, I have an obligation to deliver 300 shares at 30. And, uh, I have 200 of those. And so if I deliver those 200 shares at 30, that's going to be $6,000 on that stock. And then what I'm looking for in the break even is the number that would make the columns balance. So if we look at these two numbers, I say, well, let's see. Um, they're offering me 37. And so I have one call there that's still naked. And if that is indeed uh, a $37 stock, that's what they're offering to me. Let me plug that in and see what that looks like. And I plug that in. Now let me put it in a different color just to I'll put red as dollars out. And indeed, uh, we have the same dollars out as dollars in. So uh, that seems to be the break even. So again, on some of these more complex option strategies, what I would do is uh, violate Dean's own uh, process and uh, put things in in their total. Now, again, there's a lot of ways to do options. So whether you're using STC or Kaplan or NOP, and you know, it's a buffet, take what you like, uh, leave what you don't, but uh, that's how I would go about uh, having done something like this. All right, let's look at our next one. Oh, clear up our... Okay, so, so again, this is a ratio call spread. This is a ratio call spread. And again, what uh, I would suggest doing is uh, tracking the money. And so a ratio call spread, I'm actually writing more calls than I got. So I'm buying one of these at uh, 700. That's money out. And I'm writing these two calls at two, and that's gonna be 400. And so I'm out of pocket 300. This is a debit of $300. Now remember, whenever I spend money, that's my worst case scenario. Uh, my best case scenario is I want those calls to uh, not be exercised. I don't want to be in the money. So if the stock is at 60, if the stock is at 60, the uh, calls will expire. I'll get to keep that $400 and my 50 calls worth 10. 
And that would be my best case. I would make the $700 there, right? The, uh, let's just plug that in. So at 60, those expire. Uh, this call is worth uh, 10 points or a thousand bucks. And so I make $700. Again, the difference is the 10 minus the three. So that's a ratio call spread. Again, key is make a T and I have a process of some sort. I'm offering you the process here of T and then tracking money and money in. I'm one of the two believers in the T. There's some people who think there's easier ways to do it, but uh, you know, like I say, uh, buffet. Take what you like, leave what you don't. All right, so let's look at our next one. All right, so and here I'm just illustrating that this is a butterfly spread. It's basically two spreads together, basically. I'm going to show that to you in a minute, but it looks like a butterfly. If I had a quote screen here and showed you the screen, this would how it would look. But, you know, it has two wings and a body, hence the term uh, butterfly. You know, we're going to be um, out for the 110 call, uh, out for the, uh, you know, those two calls and outside, outside that. So that's why it's called a butterfly. I'm just illustrating that. All right, so again, the key is to track money. And then remember that they're going to uh, offer you numbers. So as you should see here on the screen, I've actually put the numbers. I'm gonna show you how to do it, but you don't need to memorize stuff if you don't want to. Some people like memorizing stuff, some people do not. So I'm gonna be out, it says a 70 call at 12. So let's put that there. And again, this is where Dean violates his own process when I have you know, complicated option strategies. I'm going to go ahead and put the entire amount into my dollar out, dollar in column. And I'll put it in red. So that's 1200 there. And then over here, I got uh, two of these. Remember, so two of these at 60, that's going to be 1200 over here. And then I'm a uh, long. Uh, this one at 300 and boom, boom, boom. So if we uh, look at the total though, that's a three point uh, more out than in. So 300 remember is three points. So that's got to go back to the points. You got to go back to the points. And the way you're going to get the break even here is you're going to take the, there's two in a butterfly spread, there's two. You can take the lower strike, which in this case is 70. Uh, plus three, and we get 73. And then the other thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take the higher strike, which in this case is a 90, and you're going to minus that, minus three, and we get our break even of 87. Now, as I said, though, they're gonna show you that they're going to show you, offer you some choices. And then, you know, you could look at the choices and say, okay, well, let's, how does it play out if the stock is, you know, 73? So, you know, I just can plug in the numbers to prove it, you know, prove the 73. So at uh, 73, the 70 call is going to be worth 300 because that's what my break even is. Same dollars out as dollars in. At uh, 73, the 80 calls are going to expire. And the 90 calls at uh, 73 are going to expire as well. And so I've just proven that indeed I have the same dollars out as dollars in. And I could do that same process by plugging in the 87. So what I'm saying on these complicated option strategies, what you might want to do is, uh, you know, instead of trying to memorize things, is just uh, get good at track of the money, get your good setup. And then just uh, try the numbers they offer you, closing out uh, the spread and seeing indeed you break even. Now my max gain, I've got those short, those 80 calls there. And so my max gain is gonna be when the stock's at 80, because that means I get to keep the $1,200, right? And my 70 call is gonna be worth 10 and the 90 call is gonna be worthless. So that's where the max gain takes place. Okay, here I'm just illustrating again that a butterfly is just two spreads. So what I'm showing you here is that that's what that looks like. You know, it's two spreads. And then, uh, you know, what I do is I combine that. 
they combine that. And that's what it looks like whole again. And so then again, what we're gonna do here again is we're gonna use our T and we're just gonna track the money. And so we're gonna pay uh, 1,200. Or that, I'll use red. And we're gonna bring in 1,200 over here for this one, that green. And uh, we're going to uh, buy that, that's one of them, and that's gonna be uh, $200 over there. Let's put that in red. And so you can see here, uh, we have more money out than in, more money out than in. And again, the break even would be uh, 200, just two points. So 42 and uh, 58 would be the uh, break even in uh, this transaction. And again, you can just, if you didn't want to memorize that, or for, if you start to get panicked on that, you can, you know, just plug in the numbers and they would play out in making the columns balance because that's what break even is, same dollars out as dollars out. What I did there is a little more strike uh, plus the net debit or credit, whatever it happens to be. And so we add to the lower strike and then the uh, 60 minus the two is uh, 58. The higher strike we subtract. And then we could just play that out, right? So at 42, I'll just play it out. So at 42, uh, this one, the 40 call is gonna be worth $200. Uh, by the way, who knows, Dean might make, mess it up. And the other great thing about having a process is if you have a process, the great thing is about a process is if you know, it doesn't work, you know, the calls won't balance, right? So 42, the 50 calls are going to expire. And 42 and the 60 calls are going to expire. And again, I'm just illustrating that indeed that's the break. -in. So assuming you do well on the setup. Again, uh, you could do this point per share, but I, I I think it gets kind of messy. So again, this is an exception. When I get a lot of things going on, like you know, I got you know 200 shares and three calls, or I got you know uh two spreads or butterfly spread, you know, at that point, I'm gonna just uh, commit to putting all of those. Now, when you're joining me for other things, Series 7, I say, well, let's just do it per share, and then when we're all done, we can multiply. But uh, the exception I made for that is when we're doing you know, more complicated strategies. All right. So as I mentioned, they're going to offer to you break-evens. Again, I'm just illustrating this to you again. So here's a short butterfly spread. Short meaning we're going to have more money in and out. But again, what we're going to do is just uh, get our T fired up. We're going to track money. And so this is going to be uh, 1100 in, and this is going to be two of them. That's going to be a thousand out. And uh, short of 270 call at two, that's going to be 200 in. And then as, again, I'm just illustrating that they're going to offer you. Uh, choices as break even. So, you know, in the previous one, you know, I gave it a number B or A. I didn't put the rest of the answer set in there because I'm just illustrating that one of the answers is going to be correct. So, in this uh, set, there would be A, B, C, D. And I'm assuming C is a choice offered to you that says the break even is 253 and 267. Now, remember, the other thing you could have done here is you could have just taken the three points that we have more out than in, right? If we net those two columns. And you could have put 250 plus three, 270 minus three, and you would have got those break evens. But I'm saying that again, if you don't want to memorize stuff, and the guy today in the tutoring session was not a big fan of memorizing stuff. So if you're not going to memorize stuff, then you got to, you know, intellectually own the stuff and be able to track money. But that being said, I'll just illustrate 253. By the way, if I get 253 and I illustrate that this is a break even, maybe I just shop the answer set and maybe, you know, that's the only one with 253. So I don't need to worry about 267. Right. So again, at 253, uh, this is going to be the yeah, 50 calls are going to be worth $300. 
you know, I'm assuming intrinsic value, which is what the test assumes. And, and you know, if they, I don't think they're going to make you close it out. To be honest with you, there's a lot of things on Series Four, except okay, besides complex op options strategy. I was trying to discipline the guy to don't get too carried away on this. There's lots of stuff that is, and there's way more stuff on supervision than complex options strategies. Anyways, the uh, 260 calls are going to expire. I yeah, put zero there or expire. And the 270 calls are going to expire. And so once again, I've illustrated that that, that would indeed uh, be the break -in. So anyways, I hope you found this uh, little ditty uh, uh, helpful if you're a series four. You know, on the channel, we do a little bit of everything. We do a little bit of everything. Our main focus on the channel, uh, this is coming in on our first year anniversary. And the main thing on the channel we've been doing is uh, providing content for SIE Series 7, 66, 65, uh, 63, you know. And uh, also, you know, I tutor and teach 24 and nines and tens and fours. And I thought, well, you know, we may as well make up a series playlist for those. Those have been slower going adding content. So be patient. I'll be building out. There's a 24 investment banking research lecture. I just got to get time to, to, you know, record it and put it up. And uh, I'll be beefing up the nine and 10. I've got the first part of the explication started. I'm going to try and get that second part of the explication started. So uh, four, you know, I'll do fours, uh, you know, the more esoteric stuff like four 27s, I'll do it when I can kind of free ride off a tutoring session. I have a tutoring session and I, I need to make a deck like this deck I made for this tutoring session. I'd be more than happy to share and I'll put it on the, on the channel. So that's what happened here. Anyways, like, share, subscribe. And uh, uh, thank you for your viewership. We appreciate it. Uh, there's not much of an audience for series four, nine, tens, and 24s, but what I'm hoping is if, uh, you know, we help you out, you know, you know, our channel is reliable and you can send me all your SIEs and your sevens and your, <laughs> your 63s and your 65s, because that's where the, uh, the uh, much more broader viewership numbers are. So thank you. And uh, uh, like I say, like, share, subscribe.